Hey guys, today we're playing Mega Aquarium, which I can only assume is a basically like a city building simulator style thing, but for a giant aquarium. Seems like a logical assumption to make. Yeah, let's go normal difficulty. Campaign, sunny side. Learn the basics here and establish a small aquarium from scratch. Get in there. You've been tasked with building a small aquarium from scratch here at Sunnyside. Before the investors release any funding, they want to make sure you can han <clears throat> handle the basic controls. Complete the objectives on the right of the screen to prove that you know what you're doing. For more information on any objective, simply hover over the info button to the right of it. Good luck. Over, hover over info button is one of the actual objectives. Huh. If you ever get stuck in a particular objective, hover this button for handy tips. Pan camera. Hold the right mouse button and move the mouse to pan the camera around the game world. Or you can use WASD on your keyboard. Ba -doop -ba -doop -boop. All right. Orbit. It's probably... Oh, middle mouse or control. Okay. Surprised you can't rotate with QE. Maybe we'll use that for something else. Uh, zoom camera. Mouse wheel. Yep. Return home. If you lose the, your aquarium, you can press the H key to return. Oh, that probably just means if you scroll over here, go bloop. Yeah, there you go. Pressing H takes you to this archway. All right, time to build. Great stuff. You just unlocked your first round of funding for your aquarium. Use the money to get the basic requirements for your aquarium set up. These are covered in the new set of objectives you've just been given. By the way, if you need to review this or any other message, you can use the button in the bottom left of the screen. About, yeah, this one? Yep. We have an inbox. We have a lot. There's a lot going on here. Nice visual aesthetic so far. Just wrap the bat. Build basic tanks. Tanks provide space for your livestock to live in. Build, thing, uh, build things using the build menu over the left side of the screen. Click the left, yeah. Basic tank. Okay. Basic tank. Boom. Boom. There we go. Now we have a basic aquarium. Attack a, attach a basic filter to each tank. That's probably filters. Basic filter. Cool. Put those on the outside. Let's put them in the middle. There we go. Now you have all this outside space where there's more access, and this little crappy chunk in the middle is uh, where the filters go. Cool. Catch a basic heater to each tank. Oh. Well, that's going to quickly take up all my space. I guess I should have put them more in the middle of the room then. Uh, too late. We'll learn, we'll learn from later. Basic heater. Oh, could I have just put one of the... I don't think you actually attach them to the tanks. Specifically. I think I could have put them between them instead. Which would have made more sense. Access to this is currently being blocked. You can move or demolish objects using the move tool. Access is blocked. Oh, it's probably a problem if I ever want to get it, uh... If I ever want to maintain it, huh? That's probably an issue. Uh... M, M is the move tool. Ah. There we go. Now they're not in the way, but they're accessible on foot. That's probably a good idea. Add some Azure Demo to each tank. All right. These guys. Click. Click. Add some decorations to your tanks. Are these decorations? Like some sea lettuce and some small rocks. Boom. I like the, uh... Ah, I ruined my symmetry. I've ruined my symmetry forever. Dang it. Alright. Build an orange pellet dispenser. The what exactly are you talking about now? Uh... How these work, by the way? Oh, you can add walls and stuff? Okay. Orange pellet dispenser... There we go. Give them some food. Oh, is this, uh... This is probably for the people, right? So they can grab the orange pellets and get in and feed the fish. Because, you know, that's part of the attraction at times. 
I'll put I'll put them like around by the walls. Or they're easily accessible and all that. You can rotate them. There we go. Build a tool station. Don't want me to rotate. Uh, are they anticipating I'll be running out of space around then? Tool station. Put this over here. It's a little more unsightly. Let's hide it around. Hide, hide, uh, hire an aquarist. Staff look after your livestock by making sure they get fed each day and by maintaining the equipment. Later on, you'll also need staff to enrich your guests' visit. Hire staff via the staff window. Open it using the button with a man and woman on the bottom right of the screen. Down here. All right. Uh, can you go away? There we go. We can hire Anna. $16 per day. Boink. And open your aquarium, which we do via... The button on the bottom of the screen. Oh, click to open. That's pretty straightforward, actually. There we go. We've got an aquarium. Well done. Your basic aquarium is up and running, and your first guest has arrived. Whenever a guest enters your aquarium, you'll pay, uh, they'll pay you some dollars to enter. In addition, the, uh, as you experience, you, as they experience your displays, they'll reward you with ecology points, which you can use to unlock new animals at your aquarium. I'm guessing ecology affects the world's awareness of aquariums or something? Oh, uh, so you're doing the orange pellets. I thought that the orange pellets were gonna be like a fun, like, haha, let the kids feed the fish thing. Now I've got orchid dotty backs. Do they get along with things? Size, the amount of space they take up. Ecology points. Number of prestige points. Okay. They eat orange pellets, so they can probably go in the same tank. There's no mention of, like, pet, of, like, fish conflicts, necessarily. New animal incoming, great job. You started your new, uh, research. Uh, research? I think, I think we already know about these guys. As you earn ecology points, you make progress towards unlocking it. You can u see your progress in the bottom left of the screen. So right here. So what, how much did I, what are the stats on these guys? So these give me two ecology points. But the new one will give me three ecology points, so they'll grow the meters faster. Uh, pause the game. Ah. Uh, hey, we unlocked it. There you go. Now it's time to buy some for your aquarium. Follow the remaining objectives to expand your livestock range. Just gonna plop some of them in here. Uh, oh god. Moving decorations and animals. Did you know you can move animals and decorations between tanks? First, select the tank containing the object you wish to move, then select the move tool. Uh, now click on the icon of the object you want to move. Now that you picked up the object, you can place it somewhere else as normal. The axe sells things by demolishing them. Okay. How do I s uh, fish? Oh, that one. Is that the move tool? I don't think I understand the controls of how to move the fish. Ah, uh, ah, uh, scary. Oh god. Oh no, I, I almost had it. Uh. Move. Oh god, no, not you. Fish, you, then move to there. There we go. Figure it out eventually. Let's put you guys in here. There we go. That'll spend some money on me. Alright, pause the game. Find the. Is it spacebar? It's spacebar. Right, expand your floor space. Click and drag. Uh. Expand. It's impressive. We can just. Nail it out there. Oh. What is the outline there? Oh, that's the walls. That's where the walls will be. Okay. I get you. Now we have more floor space. Okay. Middle mouse isn't working for some reason. Oh, control's not working either. Oh, sorry. I can't rotate the camera because this is the expand your space screen. I gotcha. I gotcha. Let's, uh, put you over here. 
Gonna work on my first big tank now. Basic tank, no. Large tank, click and drag. So large tanks may require additional heating and filtering. You can get a big ass tank. That's as big as it gets, apparently. I almost murdered that man. Tragic. Terrifying. Let's do some basic filtering. Boink. Is it being filtered now? I think we're good. And then basic heater. You get out of there. Get out, get out of there. Thank you. I will ask you to not stand behind the tank. There we go. Alright, now add some orchid daddy backs to your tank. How do I get an orchid daddy back? Oh, we already have those. Dotty, but dotty back. There we go. Now I just have way too many orchid dotty backs. Oh. They don't want me to add six fish. They want me to add fish six times, which is 12 fish. Interesting. Now I just have way too many orchids. I didn't plan this well. Different care requirements. You may have noticed that's a set of icons attached to each animal you research and acquire. These are known as the animal's care requirements. Failure to meet these will reduce the health of your animals and could lead to death. The investors have arranged for you to access new fish called the Half and Half Chromus. Let's take a look at its care requirements. The Half and Half Chromus has a requirement you haven't encountered before. It's a shoaler. That means it likes to be within a mix within a minimum number of its kind. Demonstrate your understanding of care requirements by satisfying the requirements of the half and a half chromos in the new tank. So the half and a half chromos has to be within a tank that has a certain number of... Yep. You have to have four half and a half chromos in the crew or they'll be unhappy and they'll not go, not go over well. Okay. Let's see here. First of all, let's move you guys. There we go. 49 out of 55. Low water quality is reducing the health of the animals in the tank. Remove some animals or add some filtering. I'll add some filtering. I got this. Boom. No access for staff. Whoops. Gonna need a little more space for that. Cool. Uh, might need more space. Yep. They need to be able to get, they need to be able to, be able to get around the filter to reach the other one. There we go. So now, I can add the chrome, the half and half chromos to there. The tank's full. Oh, wow! You buy you buy them three at a time. You go all in. Well, they should be happy now because they have uh, satisfy the shoulder requirement. How many are in here? Isn't there two? Oh. Uh... I see. Can I make this tank bigger? No. I see what happened here. Okay. The issue here is that they the the half and half chromos requires a lot of open space. So I actually only did okay. Let's see, tank two. Oopsie. No, not that. That's not what I wanted to do. Shit. Fish. Move you here. No, don't die. I forgot to add the filter immediately. There we go. Eater. Don't die, fish. There we go. Sorry, I made this fish lonely. I'm gonna make it less lonely real quick. Don't mind. Don't, don't worry. There we go. And then, boop, boop. And let's even go further in. Oh, there we go. So the half and a half chromos had us. It takes up a space of three. So if you add two to a tank, you're already at six, and a small tank only has a capacity of eight, so you can't even reach four in the first place. Ranking up. Now you've got a few different species of fish in your aquarium. You should be able to rank up soon. Ranking up will instantly unlock your new equipment, decorations, and facilities, and increase the repertoire of animals that have, which are available to research. There's more. The higher your rank, the more guests you attract, and the more they are willing to pay to enter your aquarium. Ranking up occurs as a result of generating prestige points. These are earned whenever a guest enjoys something in your aquarium. 
There are many ways to earn uh, prestige, but you'll earn the majority with your animals, tanks, decorations. Your next object objective is to rank up, after which you'll be able to unlock the animals required for your remaining objective. 10 out of 10 prestige rank. Cool. So I've already I've already succeeded. Ooh. My next goal get to get to 100. Unlock King Demo Cell. Acquire at least one. Meet all the requirements of the King Demo Cell. Okay. Now I've got a combo mini. Heated and filtering. It's saved on space, but it's only suitable for small tanks. Driftwood Cave. Those are decorations. Staff door. So staff only locations. Probably good for having uh, staff only areas for all of the ventilation and everything. Are they all the uh, service things? Okay. You now rank two and you have access to more animals. You're going to unlock them one at a time to ensure each of your care requirements are met. Cool. How do I start researching exactly? Uh, oh, it just pops up on its own. Okay. What are you anyway? Wimp. Cannot be housed with a bully. Okay. Orange pellet. Water quality stuff. Number of ecology points. A lot of them. It's size 2. Ah, I need high temperature. I'm getting prestige points. I'm famous. How are we doing on money? Each of these... Every tile costs me 10 to grow by... So growing the aquarium is not super expensive so far. Now we got a bunch of open space. Okay. Uh, I should fill that stuff with stuff, but also let's check decorations. Yeah, so decorations give you more prestige. The Driftwood Cave. There we go. For our newbies. Enjoy your cave. That's a real big attraction. Okay. Some rocks here and there. And a little bit of lettuce. There you go. Now that there's more visual dynamism on the screen. There's nobody in this in this spot though. Maybe I can put the new fish there when they're ready. Which I need to figure out how to research. Yeah, they're researching right now, so we're good there. Let's see. I kind of just want to find something to do with the uh, employee only zone thing, but I don't really know what I would give them. Maybe the pellet dispensers and tool stations? Um, could you guys leave? I'm trying to use my new, t my new cool staff door and y'all are in my way. Go. Yeah, I'm out. Go on. Boom! You can't go back here anymore. You are considered inferior by my aquarium. There we go. Hey, we got it. Cool. You've unlocked the demo demoiselle. It's a timid beauty. In other words, it's a wimp. <laughs> it's a just seems mean. Don't have with any animals that have a bully tag. I don't know. Do I even have one that has a bully tag? Guess I'll find out. There we go. Now the stuff that I need for employees to have access to is in this secret back room. So the aquarium looks cleaner now. I don't have any... I don't have any normal human decorations, do I? I only have decorations for the fish. I don't have any I can put around in the actual place, really. What's the bully tag? You're a wimp. That's size. I don't know. I don't see a, any other tags. Alright, so just don't put them with a bully. It's fine. And they, they have a size of two... The Arabian Blue Lines Dotty Back. That's a bully. It'll pester wimps. That's not nice. Why you gotta pester the wimps? Alright, go ahead and research that. Uh, why can't I get more? Uh, I know I just deselected it for me. There we go. Fill that place up with the wimps. It's the wimp cage where the wimps hang, hang out. 
I don't think I have any quality problems to worry about. I should probably hire another employee so that this one poor person doesn't have to do everything themselves. Hi there. Uh, I can hire you or them. You cost more, and you, but the other person has pretty good stats. You have good fitness. Doesn't the other person have better everything else? You have better f fixing. Precision, empathy, and memory. Let's hire Wade. They seem pretty badass. Now there's two employees. It just felt like I was kind of being mean to the other one by having like nobody else work here. And let's give them each their own food station and tool station for no particular reason, I guess. Boom. I make decisions for reasonable reasons and not for a complete random or anything. There goes a bunch of my money. <laughs> Uh, we need an Arabian blue line to dotty back. We're still working on that. Okay. I'm already in a groove, kind of. Just like the audio-visual audio presentation's all like just pleasant. The music's just kind of a trip. It's like, hey, yeah. One of your equipments has broken down. One of your equipments. Good, good Englishing. This will cause it to slowly lose effectiveness over time. A staff member with a fixing role will automatically retrieve his toolkit and remedy the, the problem. If many pieces of equipment fail at the same time, you may want to consider hiring more staff, building additional tool stations, or raising priority of the fixing role of your staff members. Well, I have two fixing stations and two employees, so it's probably going to be taken care of relatively quickly, right? Oh, yep, they're in a hurry. I, ima I imagine they're in a hurry because they want the fish to not be dead, which is good on them, you know? Let's see, I should probably like try to get up to capacity with some of the fish or something, right? That's maxed out. The azure. There we go. Half and halves. There we go. All the tanks are folded up now. The Arabian blue line dotty back. At the moment, I don't have a lot of reason. To, I, 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 I can get away with just putting them in their own places so far. Even like the Arabian Blue Line Dottie back. Let's take a look. Uh, it's a pug. <laughs> it's a pugnacious little fellow. They're bullies and will terrify any animal with a wimp tag, such as the King Demoiselle you unlocked earlier. I'm wondering if the game will give me a reason to mix fish, because so far I don't. I don't think I have a reason, so I'm just not doing that. Can I do a long tank. I can. If I want to go all in on size, you want to just expand it outward like this. Otherwise, you can do it long, I guess. Let's do a long one. Kind of guiding the population in certain directions now. You're a big one. Yellow Tang? I've seen those before. They require a plant. They're plant lovers, and they eat green pellets, so now I have a new food type I have to provide. Alright. Um... One yellow tang has a size of six? God damn. Unexpected. Let's go back to actually putting the fish in here. There we go. I'm an aquarium owner, you guys. Let's zoom on in there and look at the fish. Hey guys, whoa, you can zoom way the hell in here. The graphics are not very impressive for the tank itself. Oh my god, I am a, I'm a person. Oh, you can look around like you're a person. That's actually kind of cool. And then I can <laughs> I can float over the tank like, a, like I'm definitely not a person. That's the half and a half. There's my employees. There's all the little red guys. I'm gonna leave. This place sucks. Doesn't work that way. Oh, it does work that way. Uh, vaguely alarming. Huh. That's kind of neat, being able to zoom in that far. Uh, new animals unlocked. Yellow Tang. Cool. Ah! They have a higher water, water quality requirement than other uh, animals. You need to have more filters. They also eat a different type of food, and they like plants. So let's do all those things. One plant per tang. It's a lot of tang. I need a filter. This one's all messed up. There we go. That'll fix up that water quality. All right, I need to make a big old tank for the tangs. The tang tank, obviously. And I'll crush those people to death in the process. Uh, fish. 
takes up six, so that like three could fit in here? Yeah. First off, filters. Then a heater. Fill it up with grass and tangs. Release the tangs. Oh, I need the food or I'm going to die. Uh, go ahead and research that thing. It's fine. Uh, I need to make sure that we don't kill the tangs. There we go. There we go. Just throwing money away. <laughs> yeah, you get, better get in there or the tangs are going to starve. And I spent money on those tangs. You don't want to get fired, do you? You better hustle. There you go. New animals unlocked. It's bl black bar soldier fish. Okay. Uh, size of four. Dislikes lights. Cannot be housed in a tank with a li uh, tank lights attached. I have tank lights. Orange pellets. They're like caves. I have a cave. We're good there. Ah. Let's see. The nocturnal select to have a cave to hang out in. When you reach rank two, you will unlock the driftwood cave decoration, which provides cave. So you can make, uh, make sure to add one to the black bar soldier fish tank. Also note that they dislike lights. So you don't have to worry about this right now, but later on, you'll need to light your tanks for certain plants and corals, and you'll need to steer clear of the black bar soldier fish in those tanks. Okay, so just, there's just like a whole bunch of variables to manage that'll keep growing, and you'll just keep expanding outward with your nice little aquarium and try not to screw up at these increasingly long list of things that there are available to you to screw up, basically. This is probably more or less the loop. It'll just keep going like this. Boom. There's so much cave in there now. Oh, they're categorized by type. Soldier fish and squirrel fish, surgeon fish, dotty backs, grandmas, and atheas. I don't know anything about fish. I don't know anything about fish. There's most we can get in there. I better take care of the filtering before they all die. Why did I double up on filtering? I'm not really sure, honestly. Probably a bit much. There we go. Thankfully, they don't die immediately. Tired guests. One of your guests has grown tired. Build some benches so they have somewhere to sit and rest, asshole. You'll find them in the facilities section. Uh, I have so many menus open now. Uh, facilities. Oh, I do have benches. When did those happen? I'll build them over here across from the tanks. But away from them. Actually, yeah, I should put them more, a little closer to the tank, shouldn't I? Aquarium looks great. Your final challenge is to reach the target amount of prestige. 70. Oh, we already beat that. <laughs> and maintain it for a period of time. I think I already won. gonna rip it off out of her feet like you know no bench bench move here now enjoy my fish all right I really like that azure oh I clicked on Audrey so I'm seeing all the prestige that she single-handedly generates for me my little my little prestige tank uh, you better get that food over there before they die or I'm gonna be bothered by you I have to maintain it for three minutes. Okay. Uh, let's get another employee. Hi. Just come work here, please. Management. Oh, that's for cha doing things about them, probably. You can fire them. Uh huh. You just weren't doing what you needed to do, so get out of here. Now nah, we're we're probably fine. Getting a bunch of ecology, but I have nothing left to research because I think this I think this is the end of the tutorial. I think I beat it. We won. The end. Uh, I should probably make a third toolbox for my third employee in case three things break down. All of them can be working at the same time on fixing things. I don't want my fish to die. Dead fish is bad. Uh, let's move that because its location is stupid now. There we go. All right. At that point, I guess you just sort of try to pleasantly lit lay thing light uh, lay it all out in a way that like looks nice to you as the player for completely subjective reasons that don't affect the performance probably and you just you know put stuff around and have some fun can i phase straight through this wall probably 
Zoom. Here's the employee lounge. It's just food. It's just a bunch of food and some toolboxes and nothing else. I should probably make more orange ones. Is that... Well, hello there, Cloud Strife. But yeah, this is pleasant. It's worth a look, probably, if this is just your kind of thing. Uh, your hat. What is your hat doing? What is your hat doing? Okay. Concern. 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 Boom. Boom. Did I toggle it off again? Okay. So fast forward. Looks like it fast forward makes time go two or three times as fast. That'll get us through with the uh, time loop a little faster. And yeah, I should probably make some more orange stuff. There we go. Because we have a lot more orange eating fish than... Oh yeah, we have a lot more orange eating fish. I gotta fix that up or they're gonna starve. Whoops. Employees are keeping busy. Just gotta feed the fish all the time. And that's keeping them busy all on their own. Yeah, we did it. You win! You built Sunnyside up to be a great little aquarium, and people have started to take notice. You received a job offer to, to run a larger aquarium over in North Woods. You can continue to build up the Sunnyside for as long as you want. The message will stay in the message log, of accessible via the button in the bottom left, until you're ready. When you're ready to move on to the bigger, better things, let me know. I'm ready to take a jab. And by that, I mean I'm ready for this episode to end. But yeah, there's no level. So your options are play the campaign, which is probably a series of growing channels where you build up places from scratch or solve various problems. Or there's the sandbox where you can just mess around indefinitely, probably. And there's even difficulty levels. <laughs> brutal. Oh, the brutal difficulty aquarium manager. Where these fish are hardcore. Anyway, thanks to, thanks to the developers for sending me the code for the game. Thanks for watching, guys. Check out the link in the description if you want to play this game yourself. I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.